Stock Dads, welcome to another episode of Penny Talk Shit and Fuzz Brings Them Back Down to Reality. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by my man, the Stock Father. He's doing a very special thing in the show today, and he's drawing the winner for the PlayStation 5 for everybody joining in on the Moo Moo and getting situated, getting their $100 in, getting their free stocks, getting all that money. And then also potentially Freeze. getting blessed with a PlayStation 5. How's it going, Stock Father? How we doing? Going good, especially because you called it Moomoo this time. You know, <laughs> last week when I, I was watching, right. you were like, I mean, last was, week you were like, oh, right we got there. a we got a Momo, you know, giveaway going on. I'm like, what the hell is Momo? Hey, man, it's listen, a Momo, man. and I just let it happen. I, I was like, this is funny. <laughs> all of these different ways to trade, man. It's just it, well, listen. We're here now, right? We're, We're here. here now. We're here now. We got no, we got it right. You got it right this time. Yep. Uh, my rep, you know, sent me some angry texts. I'm just kidding. He, he, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. Um, no, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, thank you to everybody who participated in the Moo Moo giveaway. Um, <laughs> signed up for, uh, you know, a trading account with Moo Moo. It's one of our favorite trading apps. Um, it's got a lot of educational features, a lot of really awesome fundamental analysis, um, you know, features and value adds in there as well um you'll see chris chung talk a lot about it on, on our social media and all that kind of stuff we are partnered with them um which means we've got like awesome direct support for them too um so if you can't get support from mumu you get it through us um who can get it from mumu so <laughs> um we're gonna do that giveaway uh so everybody that joined over the last i think month and a half um was entered into a chance to win a PlayStation 5. Um, so I got everybody's name on a little wheel here. I'm going to share my screen. If you guys are watch or listening on Monday morning, uh, you can't see this. My apologies, but we'll try and <laughs> demonstrate it as much as possible. Should have watched it live. I know, right? Should have watched it live. <laughs> um, let's try it this way. Can you guys see that? Let me add it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little small, but I think we yeah, may be able a little to make small. it out once you spin it. I got a massive like screen now, so I don't even like really know how to. There you go. There is you that go. better? Yeah, that's yeah. much better. Okay, because I had it like stretched out. Like, is that still okay? Good? Yeah, that's that looks even good. better. All right, awesome. Okay, I don't see my name on here. Where's my name? Oh, Yours is right there. there. It's, it's right okay. there. Okay, I just want to make sure it's in a light blue. <laughs> it's in there. I got everybody's name in here that entered. Uh, if you entered from our Facebook group or through our email campaign or in our Discord or wherever you're in here, so about to pop this button here, and whatever name it lands on is going to win a uh, sexy new PlayStation Five and two new controllers. So ready? Two. Two, two controllers. I bought an extra one just because I thought it would be nice. Who wants to play by themselves, you know? That's All right. right, here we go. Ready? Go. Big money, big money, big money. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and winner is John Jack. John Jack. Oh. Oh. All right. John Jekyll. Man, that was really close to uh not landing on his name. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it was like a right sliver away. Who is it? Congratulations, Who is John Jekyll, man. Awesome. <laughs> Glad Mark Schaefer. I just want to say, if Mark, if it would have gone like a, a billionth of a millimeter more, it would have Mark Schaefer. So Mark Schaefer, man, I'm sorry, but you know, today, <laughs> not today. Uh, but John Jekyll, you are the no winner, cigar, my man. man. No cigar. I'll get in touch with you on Discord, and uh, I will send that uh, your way as soon as possible. So Ooh, good stuff. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Congratulations. I'm kind guys. of jealous. You know that that just kind of goes to show you. There's a lot of names on that list on that list too, man. There was a lot of people that signed up. <laughs> Great, great having yeah, that type of uh, stuff happening in the server, man. It's good stuff. Yeah, thank y'all for so, uh, signing up because we can't do it with without y'all guys. So, yep. So props to y'all. Thank you. And you got free smokes. So, let's get into the meat and bones here, right? I mean, nah, rah, rah. the 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 bear right, thing that really came, the the bear <laughs> thing that really came to the market, really that everybody in their mother is talking about, is that stocks have ended uh, on the lows for the week, the month, and the quarter. I mean, yes. uh, pretty much from these levels, uh -huh. I think everyone here is calling for a thirty-four hundred dollar or thirty-four hundred drop in the uh, SP S and P five hundred, uh, and then potentially after that, I think thirty-two hundred is achievable. What do you think, Fuzz? I, hey, I'm I'm all for it. Um, yeah, I mean, we've been playing put central, so it's fun making money on the downside. So yeah, bring it I mean, on. 
Speaking of 3200, sure. I mean, listen, if you followed me on my Lululemon short, uh, you're you're in the you're in the you're in the green by like twenty five percent, which is beautiful. Are we, it, are we gonna attribute to that? Ass juice. I was gonna say, are we gonna attribute that to ass juice, or are it we gonna attribute to, that to the market? Zero so. to do with ass juice. It has zero uh, to do with more so marks. on the trends of the market. But hey, a win's a win, right? That's right. Uh, it doesn't matter how you get there. There is there is a lot more to come. Uh, matter of fact, Fuzz and I were trading live in the Discord uh, on Friday together, Friday. and I started my positions short on chip stocks. Yes, right? I'm shorting MU, I'm shorting AMD, I'm shorting NVIDIA. Like it, these oh, were all of them. These were stocks that were bound to fall. And uh, right before market close is when I made my position. So we're waiting for next week's yes. opportunity. And speaking of next week's opportunity, uh, Fuzz just let us know that there is a secret behind closed doors Fed meeting happening. Uh, when is that meeting happening, Fuzz? Tomorrow, Monday. Tomorrow. I mean, yes, listen, sir. guys. Whenever the whenever the feds come together for a uh, a meeting outside of the norm, I wonder what the hell they're talking about. Probably <laughs> pump the brakes on the Fed rate on the Fed rate, right? <laughs> I mean, let's. I mean, seventy five basis points back to back to back, like your Miami Heat champions. I mean, we've got to slow this down a little bit, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, listen. A lot more news coming into the markets. I mean, does anybody want to talk about Tesla's AI day? Um, yeah, that thing's uh, creepy. Mm -hmm. uh, listen, there was a lot of things that came through this AI day that was pretty impressive. Listen, I, I really think that this is the Ugh. start where somebody can just kind of drop a pinpoint and go, this is where the next 30 years can be attributed to, right? So this point in time where Tesla comes out and they're building this robot, listen, there wasn't anything spectacular, right? He did some basic movements. He was moving a box around in an office. You know, there's not a whole lot that this robot's doing. He's definitely hey, well, not doing you think things you, that... You think you could do better? Well, <laughs> well I definitely pick up a box. Bob is special, you know, just a robot that, you know, like can walk. Yeah, but I mean, listen, the, this Boston company's got robots yeah. that are doing backflips, dancing, and that's shooting true. guns and shit. Oh, right? yeah, that thing that thing is crazy, dude. Yeah, that yeah thing I mean, listen, scary. it wasn't as <laughs> impressive as that, but to really get into the grime of this is knowing that he can build it on mass quantities faster right. and cheaper. Right? And they look like humans. And they look like humans. Yeah, and that's so the, that's gonna be that's the, the part that scares the crap out of me is like you know we've all seen iRobot probably right you know <laughs> and, and like if you haven't I, seen iRobot, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Will Smith movie. Go watch it. You'll know what the hell we're talking about. Yeah, I mean <laughs> it's crazy. a it's been all out but for a long time, so I don't know if I really need to worry about like spoilers. Um, but right. like the robots are bad, uh, you know. So like <laughs> they they like they don't do well with humans. Um, I mean, the, the, I'm sure that, you know. I'm not gonna go throw in you know throw on my tinfoil hat or anything. You know that like this is the beginning I of would. the end. But uh, you know, I know you would. <laughs> um, but you know this is it, it's. I think artificial intelligence is something to be very, very cautious with because like that's the kind of stuff that, you know, self, especially self-learning, like all this stuff where I mean, it can just pick up stuff and learn things on its own. Like that, that scares me a little bit. You know, I think we're, uh, you know, we've got enough people out there that are greedy enough and evil enough to take advantage of, that type of technology and do some pretty nasty things with it. So we'll see, but also, right. you know, some good people that could do awesome things with it. So, you know, you know, never know. Yeah. Anthony listen, Hernandez, really... you know, said things look great or things look crazy. They'll probably be building Tesla's car now, cars now. That'd be pretty cool. Probably. That's what he, said. he said, you know, the really what he wants it to probably. do is you want to be able to tell that robot, Hey, pick up that wrench and attach that bolt to that car right and then it goes and it does that right i think that that's really what they're aiming for like i was telling fuzz earlier listen i'm probably not going to be here much longer to, to see these robots really survive right i mean i may be able to get one like in my late 70s and 80s where i got a robot like washing dishes which will be great i mean 
That's you're like you're like forty. I, I, <laughs> you're not. Like, I'd rather have a <laughs> robot that wipes my ass clean. You know what I mean? But I digress. Anyway, what is it with you and ass juice, man? You just hey, got man. I'm just thing, trying you know. to keep it clean, man. Just trying to keep <laughs> it clean. He's a so you're like 40 ass, and you're talking like, you know, this is like the end of the, you're talking, this is the end of the road for you. You, you know, it's like, you just got well, married your whole life ahead of you, man. You can get a robot, you know, in a couple of years, much money you know, as you're making trading. So yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. see, man. Listen, you can probably go I ahead and get that, one. Uh, there, there was one thing though, that popped in my head though, guys, that, that I was, you know, as soon as this stuff came to light was this interview that he did with Joe Rogan four years ago. And I went on to a deep dive about this shit because I had to go find the clip of elon musk getting on joe rogan talking about ai and he was talking about how uh the very first thing that's going to happen from creating a successful robot that is fully functional that is fully ai the very first move is going to weaponize it right someone out there is mm -hmm. going to try and weaponize the ai and that's going to be the first straw that breaks the back right mm -hmm. and so you know he started getting all really cryptic and you know, into what the world could look like if that happens. And it was really scaring Joe Rogan and it was making hair grow on my arms. And I, mean, I was really starting to get a little freaked out about it. But I really think that uh, it was a weird turn to see him have that conversation four years ago to going, hey, guys, we got a robot. <laughs> Elon, <laughs> Elon was also hella high during that interview. So <laughs> he was hella high. He was definitely hella high for sure. But you yes. know, that, you know that makes him see the <laughs> he was future. He stoned out of his so, mind. Yeah, so it's all good, man. It's it's a it's a interesting and cool and scary and you know all sorts of emotions go on when you see something like that. You know, they've got these robots out there that can that are starting to make facial expressions with their little masks on. I think before you know next decade or two, you know, we may not even be able to be able to tell you know who's right. human and who's not. I mean, listen, guys, when you got some spare time, YouTube Miso Robotics. These guys are building uh, hamburger and french fry machine robots, right? Yeah. They're like, these are the things, these are the robots that are going to replace people in fast food restaurants. We may with the minimum wage with more than just a one single squeeze of ketchup on it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like... I can't wait. <laughs> like, like, let yeah, me I won't. replace this guy. <laughs> I won't get. A, I, I won't. Every time I order my kid a Happy Meal, like the cheeseburger only ketchup, you know, Sorry, standard bro. kid meal. It's like it comes out and there's just ketchup coating the entire yeah. bun, the everything like, <laughs> like this. Like, just, I hate yeah. my job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just take that, you stupid idiot. Uh, but no, it's yeah. I mean, especially with all the. I'm not going to get into the politics of it and whether I agree or disagree, but with all the uh, attention on, you know, increasing minimum wage and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's, there's a very real possibility that, you know, there already are. I mean, you see a lot of these self-service, uh, you know, ordering machines and stuff that's already taking people's job. What do you, you know, what do you think is going to happen when there's robots that can actually flip the burgers and, you know, all that <laughs> stuff. I'm sure there already are. So, I mean, it's really going to draw a really strong line in the sand, in my opinion of, Either you're going to go get a professional job or you're not, right? And, mm -hmm. and when you don't, what are you going to do for income, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Trade. I know, let, let me get some Judge right. Dredd in here first, can we? Because I really need I really some need some type of protection. Like when we start getting into this, you know, taking people's jobs away from uh, robots. But, you know, I think that, you know, you're going to have that strong line in the sand that's going to hopefully entice people to go to school do this whole thing and you know with all that being said i mean our school systems we got yeah, but even even if you're going for higher education you can make the argument that higher education is not even worth it mm -hmm. unless you're unless you're going after like a, a really high paying job but i mean yeah there's can a lot you go of, to school to be a robot because right. seems like they're gonna have all the best jobs out there in a there's while, a lot of so. majors out there that you know what what you doing to, with to it? build it yeah I yeah, know. I mean, I wonder what kind of jobs that's going to create, you know, like, oh, well, yeah. we're a programmer for robots and like, all right, mm -hmm. well, cool. Yeah. Welcome to the industry. Yeah. I guess you always need everybody coders. needs an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to get there. <laughs> so, you know, speaking of the school system, I, I wanted to bring up because I know this is uh, next on our, our agenda here. I want to talk a little bit about SoFi and listen. I know you can, you know, you can find yourself in a deep dive into YouTube and all these other stuff. And you find all these guys talking about SoFi this and SoFi that. And 
Listen, they probably hey, you're gonna get you're gonna get some uh, you're gonna get some hate DMs yeah, from our some... very own Mr. Consistency, <laughs> who's a a big so so five fanboy, you know. Yeah, but so, listen, I mean, I hope that he didn't have these guys buying the stock at twenty dollars, right? I mean, so listen, then, yeah. the dollar cost average is only going to get you so far. Here's here's my take on this, right? So there's a gentleman by the name of uh, Mark Kantrowitz, right? And so he's nationally recognized as a student loan expert and uh, the president of a private student loans uh, dot guru. So it's sort of like a website that he helps people understand their their personal finances. And so he's uh, noted for his insights on personal finance, and that's where he gets a lot of his fame from. So uh, as he sees it, companies like SoFi are going to have a huge growth opportunity in the next coming months as borrowers are getting ready to resume payments after December 31st. So we know that uh, they've extended that that repayment program. And so, right. you know, everybody's going to have to start kicking up payments again. So there will be a rush of applications for private refinances here pretty soon. And after the Fed's raising interest rates like they have been, uh, I'm sure there's going to be a rush of applications uh, trying to get the lowest, lowest interest rate possible, knowing that higher interest rates are probably coming in the future. So I think that SoFi could potentially be in a situation to, to win here. So I'll, I'll kind of want to paint this picture for you if you'll let me. So uh, the way I see it, it makes sense to apply for a loan uh, for... Oh, I've got this thing in my way. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, I, the way I see it, it makes sense to apply for a loan forgiveness sooner than December 31st of 2023 deadline for resumed payments on your loans. Sorry, that's 2022 this month coming month, coming December. So if a borrower wants to receive forgiveness before the restart of repayments, then they need to apply for forgiveness by November 15th of 2022. And so the application becomes available sometime in October. And that's when you need to go really apply for this thing. Do it as soon as possible. And then you can take your the, whatever's left. If you get a $10,000 or $20,000 forgiveness, then go was, uh, refinance automatic. the rest with SoFi. What's that? Well, isn't the 10,000, uh, 20,000, uh, that's automatic, right? You don't have to do anything from what I understand. No, you have to, you have to apply for it. You have to apply oh, for okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to go to the, the site and apply for it. Yeah. Don't so, you have to, uh, I mean, depending got, on the type of loan that you have, you get 10,000 or 20,000. Right. Did, right. You, isn't that like if you had Pell grants or whatever and stuff only, or no, it doesn't work that way. So any, yeah, it's across. As long as it's not a private loan. Yeah. Yeah, no, so even any if it's a private loan. student loan, even if, it, and I also was reading something like it only worked if you, uh, like if for what you paid during that time when it was like everything was on hold, like during nope. COVID. Right. Nope. So, like, I could go get 20 grand up to 20 grand if I paid my student loans five years ago. The way, the way I hit, the way I see <laughs> it, you can actually get that money back plus the 10,000. So, they're, they're actually giving these refunds back to you. So, uh, you know, and, and making you, you know, or letting you get in your money back. But listen, if you were making payments during the pause, you were making interest free payments and that right. you probably just keep it there. You know what I mean? Uh, because the, the payments are just going to start up. And if you take that money out, your interest rate's going to send it sky high. You'll never get out from underneath that debt. But oh, so, so this, isn't, this isn't help, like right? a, this isn't like a you're taking another loan out is what you're saying. So if you you're have, not getting like paid back, like all these people that got like 10 grand or whatever to, you know, like pay off the rest of their student loans or everybody, all these people that got 10 grand. So like, here's, this isn't yeah, like I, a, I, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what. Money. So my wife, okay. She's got a master's degree and, and they just sold her loan to uh, another company called Mohaya. And I was like, Mohaya. And I was like, I wonder if their payments are more higher. Dude, it was a total dad joke, uh -huh. and I nailed it. And she was like, "What?" <laughs> oh my like, god! Like, I nailed this. This was a good that joke. Was good stuff. That's Mo good. That's a good one. Who names a loan company Mohaya? Like, yeah. come to us. Come to Mohaya. Like, no, I, I want to go to Mo Loa, please. <laughs> uh, but anyways, and I digress. So oh, they they so moved funny. all of her they moved all of her student loans over to Mohaya, and um, <laughs> Mohaya. they're gonna give her ten thousand dollars worth of credit to her her loan. She's got like fifty grand or something like that. So they're gonna give her ten thousand. She'll have forty thousand dollars left. Why not? We actually have a loan through SoFi already for our wedding, and so we're actually going to use SoFi uh, to refinance her loan after that ten thousand dollars is removed, and then make payments to SoFi for her her uh, her student loans. Interesting. 
try to get that. I don't get it. Nah, yeah, so, <laughs> I don't get it. It is what it is. I, I paid him off a long time ago. The money's gone. And whatever. I don't care. That's I mean, that's the way I feel about it, right? I mean, I'm, I'm like, I, I, I for I, like, I feel like I don't want to. I'm not gonna get into the, the politics <laughs> of it. I say that like ten times every time I'm on these episodes. That's why it. I gotta stop coming just on. Do here, it. You know, like, just do it. Who nah, cares? Just do it. I paid my loans. I took the loans. I made that choice. I paid them off. Like, right. I'm done. I don't need money back. I don't want somebody else paying me back for my loans. Like I took those loans. You didn't take those loans. Right. Your tax you took money the responsibility. Need, yeah. Your, your tax money doesn't need to pay my loans. Period. Yep. I paid them. They're done. Like I don't need to get paid back. And like, you know, I know there are situations out there and, you know, some people, this is life changing for them. And it's awesome. Like I'm super happy for, for everybody that gets to enjoy this. Cause it's happening one way or the other, whether we like it or not. So like all the people that get to benefit from it. Great. Um, but as far as me trying to figure out what the hell you're trying to explain and me going and getting whatever it is back, it's just, it's not worth it. It's yeah. At this I mean, point, that's the way like, I feel about it. I, I'm not touching it. I'm letting yeah. her handle it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's like yeah. our finances, but I'm letting her. It's like her deal. Like she's gonna go yeah. do it. Yeah. But I mean, listen. If it's ten thousand, if someone said, "Hey, we're giving out ten thousand dollars," I'm not gonna say, "Nah, I'm good. You keep it." I'm taking that ten thousand dollars. That's what I'm saying. Who, it's gonna happen right. one way or the other. I'm taking like, ten thousand dollars. Right. You know, I'm not Why turning not? that shit down. You're kidding. Yeah. Me. No like, matter how much I like it or dislike me. it or hate it or love it or let whatever, me ask you this: It's did gonna you, happen. So. It, yeah, did you, know, you take did you take the check from the government when they were giving it during COVID, or did you send your check back? Oh, I took it. Same. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't the like that they were. I, was, I, I didn't like Why they were sending you? them, but I, you know, I didn't like they were sending them, but I took it. I mean, again, it's like it's the same thing. You know, it's going to happen one way or the other. To me, stuff like that is a tax refund. You know, like it's coming from my taxes anyways. So my, I yeah. think taxes are theft anyways. So you yeah. know. Um, That's a good book about this too. Uh, speaking know. of taxes, man, you know, uh, so I'm getting solar panels on my new home, and uh, did we get like a big, big rebate check out of that, out of mm -hmm. our taxes, right? So they, right. they so uh, all right, so it's, it's crazy like how they 60 just grand that for, the, for the for the for the the panels, and then that means we get about twenty grand worth back, right? So the uh, of taxes that we don't have to pay. So now I get to play like this weird game with my W4 where I get to claim like I have 16 children enough to like not get taxed 18 grand and then get all that money. I'm excited, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I can't wait. Give me all yeah. my money. I would yeah. love not to play, pay any taxes for one year. That's all I need. That's all I need is one year. I need, I, I need Bezos' accountant, accountant. So, you know, like he like pays nothing in taxes. Like I got to find him. But um, <laughs> where, where's this guy at? Yeah, it's uh, like I, sure I, we can I look heard him up. also part of this, uh, you know, green initiative or whatever it's called. Like, because um, oh, yeah. I, I own a Tesla and I, this year I won't because for some reason, I think they said basically Tesla's too profitable for them to offer this for Tesla owners. But next year, <laughs> Tesla owners, um, or I think any American made EV owners will get up to like eight grand in like tax refunds for owning an electrical vehicle on top of it. So that's awesome. Again, like it's one of those things like this one, I actually, you know, I, I, I don't disagree with. I mean, I think, you know, you know, sustainable energies, uh, a worthy cause so anything that you know drives people to that's not why i have a tesla i just think they're badass and my wife needed it for her epilepsy but um yeah i'll definitely take this money again <laughs> you know but it's gonna it's gonna happen one way or the other but um yeah i think we uh i think our government needs to chill out with uh, all this money that they're just forking over for stuff because just left and right here you go here you go like, here's a freebie here's a freebie what, what's another what's another you know Two trillion. Why not? You know, it's yeah. just who, pack it who, on, you know, whatever. Who bails out the entire who bails out a country? <laughs> well, that's it's not when, gonna be that's China. when China or Russia no. or whoever owns us is what no, I'm saying. China no. China's imploding, so China's not gonna catch any kind of it, fall this time. No. But somebody's gonna own us Scared. very soon. So if they don't already, you know, we'll never know. Yeah, we'll just Brexit later. It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Y'all got to stop so, inviting me on these shows because it always turns into a political shit show, and I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm probably ruffling, that, a lot, it's not ruffling that, lots of feathers right, out there, I'm nah, sure. People unsubscribing fine. as I talk. The more <laughs> I talk. <laughs> yeah, I like if you're it. getting mad at that, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> it's opinions, people. It's opinions. So, right. you know, also, you know, what I don't want to downplay, and which we already have done, this uh, Tesla AI deal <laughs> at the very end of their show started talking about their, uh, their, do is it dojo? Their dojos. So it's this big, huge uh, karate computer dojos? system karate? that's now competing against AWS and learning systems and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Interesting enough, the battle continues between Bozos and musk <laughs> i mean these what guys keep going at each other did you mean to call him bozos or did, yeah, was, that, did. was that a momo moment bozo. i didn't he's know if that was a mom i didn't him know if that was a momo wife. moment him and, and his wife, wife. bozos <laughs> i i, I like it just, you know yeah i like it i'm gonna use it from now on i just wasn't sure if that was a momo <laughs> moment you know no i, I it was on purpose <laughs> Uh, speaking of dojos, my son is, uh, we signed him up for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He starts tomorrow. So he's nice. definitely going to kick my ass now. He already pretty much was. Um, he's four years old and he already bruises me and beats me into oblivion every time we play WrestleMania. So now he's going to put me in an arm bar, I'm sure. And you know, Do you see that, uh, that random, you know, Tom Hardy, the mm -hmm. actor? He randomly like showed up at like some little uh some championship and just beat everybody to heck and back and won That's awesome. the championship and in, in you ever uh, seen him arts. in the, the movie uh Jesus. Warrior? I Warrior is one movie. of my all time favorite movies of all time. If you guys haven't yeah, seen Warrior, that. watch it. It's super corny, unrealistic like <laughs> like plot but it's and it's just incredible i loved it um one of my favorite movies of all time but yeah it's basically him and joel edgerton i think is the other guy and they you know just battle their way through a mma championship from being a science teacher and a marine or something and it's super unrealistic God. but i loved it <laughs> oh, uh, i just found it yeah they're they're calling uh this emergency meeting right a global margin call is unfolding and the sources are telling everyone that credit Susie credit swiss yeah credit Susie, is that how you pronounce it? is it Susie credit or swiss Susie is essentially <laughs> under siege yeah uh there's there's a lot of chatter and kind of blips out there about this whole credit interesting i just i'll call it credit swiss but credit Susie. uh a yeah there's some margin call. interesting yeah, the, oh. they're saying Credit Suisse or whatever. They're saying, no, oh, no, everything's good. But, you know, you have of trash. You have yeah. trash. Oh, they're fine. CDs <laughs> just, and everything like you that. Raise, like, I don't interest know what you're raised doing. by bank. 7% in the last few months. It's fine. But yeah, it's we're a good. major bank. It's not <laughs> looking good. <laughs> yeah. Global okay. margin call is not the, not the vernacular I want to hear prior to a <laughs> secret meeting. Yeah. Um, no doubt. It's not good. We all bounce or we don't, in my opinion. So mm -hmm. do or die. It That's is. pretty much where we're at. <laughs> here's, mm -hmm. here's what here's what Penny Slayer is doing. You ready? I'm waiting for like 316. Like 31.5 on the, on the S&P 500. And then I'm taking out a loan on the house in my car <laughs> and selling Jessica's feet on OnlyFans. <laughs> And taking um, all the money and throwing it into the S and P five hundred. That's what I'm. Hey, doing. Shaman would be all over that too. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, the I'm not, why? Why do we always talk about feet? Why is it always it always gets to feet, man? In our Discord, it's my feet I'm just seeing. I, I guarantee you, they're not. I guarantee they are, you, they're not. Dude, my feet are the softest feet ever for a man. That's <laughs> my hand. Okay. My hands are soft too. Go Congrat outside. congratulations never worked God. a hard day in your life Penny get some ever. calluses on your toes ever. man like oh, man. listen i used to mow my lawn as a child and as a <laughs> i used to mow my lawn <laughs> you have some garner that comes out now bro. i hire people for that shit <laughs> <laughs> you will uh, never see you see my skin it's pale bro like uh, i don't get out in the sun like yeah, it, right. you want me to go out there nah, hey, those, those i'll those wait vitamin d pills man nighttime 
Like I, I haven't got a neighbor that cuts the lawn at like nine at night. <laughs> like <laughs> how, how are the cops not coming right now and locking you up? <laughs> like, it's amazing. Did you catch on fire on your honeymoon? I did, man. Man, I got a big sunburn. Like I, I dude, it was incredible. But it was worth it, right? I mean, you go. if you're gonna get a sunburn, get it in the Caribbean. You know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good motto. I like that. Yeah. That's a nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a t-shirt with that on it. There you, you go. A sunburn, get in the Caribbean. I'm full of this shit, man. I'm telling you, you need to monetize <laughs> me, bro. I, I mean, you're costing me more than you're making me at this point. So I'm just oh. saying. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. <laughs> the proto- yeah. yeah, you gotta wear those socks with the sandals, man. It is protective sock. Mike Sikowski. S- S- Sorry, I just butchered her name, bro. But <laughs> just uh, on YouTube, name. it's the protective sock layer <laughs> under the sandals. Yep, that's what that's keeps right. his feet baby soft. That's right. I, I do that too, and mine are like hardened sandpaper, you know, bricks of callus. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, all right, guys. I guess that about does it. Thank you, everybody, for joining in for another episode of Stock Dads. Uh, we will be here next Sunday, obviously. Uh, Fuzz and I will obviously be trading in the in the the sessions live. Man, Fuzz, it was a pleasure trading with you last Friday. Man, absolutely uh, we made some money there. I know. Towards the yeah. end of the day, we made our, <laughs> our good it. positions for next week. I mean, yes, at this point, it's throw puts at the wall and make money. Is as much as we were making on the way up. We're making just as much on the way down. All right, ladies and gents, thank you for coming out. We'll see you next time on the show. Have a good one. I'm out. Bye, guys. See you guys.